Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Jean. Um, what's on his mind about me? The same as three piles, pick a card. First of all, please concentrate on the person whom you are interested in and pick a card. So what's on his mind about you? The first card. What's on his mind about you? The second. And what's on his mind about you? The third card. So pick a card, please. And also, I would like to thank you for your support by means of comments, likes, and of course, donations. Thank you very much. It really stimulates to move on. Okay, what's on his mind about you? The first card, what do we have here? High priests, what's on his mind? You are his, um, you are sort of a secret for him. He doesn't know what is going on in your life, what is there uh, on your mind and in your heart in terms of him. Or probably you are his lover. What's on his mind about you? Oh, you're a friend. Great. So, girls, you know that he's not just a passerby in your life. That you have met not just for something light, actually. It's definitely that you were meant by the universe to each other. Probably you work together, probably you are colleagues. Um, he wants, uh, there is a sort of a communication or he wants to communicate with you somehow. But the thing is that there are many hesitations. What are hesitations? Huh? Fate, destiny, wheel of fortune, greed. He feels the same to you as you do for him, actually. Also, I should tell you that you fit each other perfectly. You match each other perfectly. And your meeting was really the destiny. Was given from the universe, was given from your fate. You were supposed to meet for something serious. Why have you met? Let's ask. What's for have you met? To be together. To be together. You were meant for marriage. You were meant. You are meant to each other. For family, for strong ties. It's exactly so. Uh, also, you are meant to each other to change your life, lives, both your lives. You were meant for love. You have met for love, for true feelings. And uh, not to feel desperate, miserable, to stop that process, that period of your life, of, of his life, or probably you both feel uh, the same or leave the same period to move on to move on your life happily life it seems like um, you have presented him the hope for his best life for his future. He considers you as his impress, as his destiny, as his spouse, you see? Really great. I should tell you that there are much more than just feelings, than love. It's much deeper. Much, much deeper. And the emperor. It's definitely family. As I have told you, he is not just the passerby in your life. He, girls, he is given to you also to, to 
to be happy. So as you are given to him. What's on his mind about you? The second card. Mm -hmm. Two of swords. It's a sort of a dead end. Between you right now. Also the period of choice. Of having no idea what to do. And what to choose. It's a sort of a dead end. What else on his mind about you? The Emperor. He is the Emperor, a very self-confident. I should tell you that he is not a picnic, actually. Well, but anyway, the person has got feelings, has got sympathy to you. Also, he has wished to offer you something, to present you something. And there is a wish to do something in order to give the second chance or the third or whatever chance to restart your relationships. He's thinking what to offer so that you, in order you to turn to him. As far as right now, it seems like you don't want to be with him. You don't want to move on with him. And you have turned into the Queen of Swords. Very strict. Probably you are his ex, actually. And um, he is sure that the card of death, that um, you don't want to be with him anymore. And he is thinking what to offer and what to do so that you could change your mind in terms of him. He wants to, he wants to change your the way of your relationships. It's the wish to restart them. But the thing is that he considers himself in the dead end and having no idea what to do. But there is a hope to again, as I have told you, to restart your relationships. It's a pretty hard period for him, actually, I should tell you. and a passion and a wish to approach and uh, he's watching it peeping at you probably uh, right now it's the square of your relationships you also have got somebody and he has someone else he's trying to show off you see so that you could pay attention to him no doubt that you are very special for him and also um the thing is that he doesn't want to let you go. Uh, he wants you belong only to him. No matter how many girls are there around him, women around him, you see. Um, he wants you to belong to him. You are his son. He considers you as his son, as his happiness. And I wish to restart, as I have told you. And... Um, to break, to overcome all those obstacles on his way. And he wants to do anything and everything in order to restart your relationships. Okay, and he wants and he hopes again to move to stability with you. Yes, he will offer you something, he will come. He will probably invite you somewhere, present you something just like that. And he will tell you that you are a very meaningful woman in his life, that you are his empress. So girls, if there was a divorce, he want to rebuild your family relationships. You see, he wants you to be next to him. He wants to have stability with you. And the car lowers. He wants to be in one boat and one roof with you. So that is what's on his mind. Just to restart your relationships. So what's on his mind about you? 
the third card, the third position. Mm -hmm. He's upset. He's sad that everything is over. That something went wrong with you. Probably he feels he's guilty in terms of you. Well, but anyway, he's sorry that you are not together. He's sad that you are not together. That everything is over between you. What else? What's on his mind? The King of Cups here we've got. It seems like um, probably he showed off too much or um, he had uh, lots of women around him. He, it seems like he didn't make a choice or he has done that choice and right now he's thinking that that was incorrect. That's why he's sorry for his behavior. He's telling yes. I behaved myself like a fool, just paying attention to lots of women, but probably not accept you. Probably he didn't um, notice your wishes, or just you at least. He didn't pay attention to you. He liked to play with other girls. That's uh, right now, he's really sorry for his behavior his previous behavior. As far as he has lost, yes, that he has lost that stability with you. Uh, he understands that he could live with you all his life. Also, he would, he could be very happy with you. But because of his inappropriate behavior, he had lost you. Right now, he is really sad. As I have told you, he has lost everything in terms of you. And also, he had lost not only you, but his happiness, his stability, his also financial stability. And family, for sure. For he, And kids. If you have kids, he also... He's sorry for that behavior. As far as he... Right now, he realizes that you are a very meaningful woman that he didn't value you pro properly, right? He didn't appreciate you properly, that you that he didn't behave himself properly in terms of you, and valued. I don't know what has happened right now with him, but he feels himself really guilty. But still there is a hope. Yes, I have, as I have thought, uh, there is a hope to move on with you, you see. Uh, he has got intentions to, to be next to you again. It seems like uh, he hopes that you would accept him again and that you would forgive him all his mistakes, I don't know. Also, it's the passion. He wants to come. You are the Empress. He is the Emperor. Yes. Uh, he wants to restart your family relationships. And it seems like um, he's realizing all those obstacles that he had made by himself, actually. And um, he needs to overcome them somehow. To restart your relationships, you see. That's what on his mind. It seems like uh, only now he began appreciate you. And also he is looking for a chance that you would give him one more chance. As far as he's telling you about his feelings and he's telling you about his hopes that you are his dream. <clears throat> You have turned into king, uh, queen of swords, but still, uh, there is a hope to transform your feelings back again, so that you could fall in love with him again. And the f wheel of fortune, you see, cycle relationships. He wants to start the new cycle of your relationships. Great wish to come.
great wish to approach and a hope. He really hopes. So that was the third position. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.